the strengths and weaknesses of Sierra Leone. Welcome to the Explore and thanks for watching. In this video, we shall be looking at the strengths and weaknesses of the beautiful country of Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone is a country on the southwest coast of West Africa. We have two dedicated videos on Sierra Leone, 10 things you didn't know about Sierra Leone, and 5 reasons why you absolutely need to visit Sierra Leone. Click on the card on your screen to check it out. Sierra Leone has both strengths and weaknesses, and in this video, we will explore both in order to make valid judgments on the country. The strengths of this African nation are the internal aspects of the country, either natural or man-made which helps or fosters the country's growth and progress. The weaknesses on the other hand are internal aspects that hinder the country's improvement and are strikes which make a nation less attractive to investors, foreigners, and most importantly its citizens. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. So let's begin this video on a good note. Strengths of Sierra Leone Significant mining resources Rich in minerals, Sierra Leone has relied on mining, especially diamonds, for its economic base. The country is among the top 10 diamond producing nations in Africa. Mineral exports remain the main currency earner. Sierra Leone is a major producer of gem quality diamonds. Though rich in diamonds, it has historically struggled to manage the exploitation and export. Sierra Leone is known for its blood diamonds that were mined and sold to diamond conglomerates during the Civil War to buy weapons that foiled its atrocities. In the 1970s and early 80s, economic growth rates slowed because of a decline in the mining sector and increasing corruption among government officials. Tourism Potential Africa's untapped industry tourism remains one of Africa's major sources of revenue generation when and if fully utilized. In Sierra Leone, there are many natural aspects of the country which are potential tourism gold mines. The beaches, wildlife, diversity in people and culture as well as history. All these just need to be prepped for the world and tourists will start flocking in and change the agricultural based economy into a service provider like its neighbor. Significant port activity that is set to expand. The extension works of a container terminal of the port of Freetown has been launched to improve on import and export in Sierra Leone. This is a major project for Sierra Leone as it will contribute to enhance potential of natural bay of its capital, Freetown, first port of the country. It includes the construction of a quay extension of 270 meters to a depth of 13 meters, in addition to the existing 707 meters creating a median of 3.5 hectares and the establishment of a power plant dedicated to the terminal. Two gantry cranes will be set up from the start to significantly improve productivity of the port of Freetown. The new and ultra-modern dock will accommodate larger vessels up to 6,000 TEU, taking the total capacity of the container terminal to 750,000 TEUs. Significant investments have been made in the last five years for the development of the potential of the natural bay of Freetown. First, the rehabilitation of existing yards and purchase modern equipment led to widely triple the productivity to handle a traffic increase of over 30%. Coffee, rice and cocoa production So, 30 or 80% of the population of Sierra Leone is directly involved in subsistence agriculture and accounts for about 58% of GDP. Rice is the most important staple crop in Sierra Leone, with 85% of farmers cultivating rice during the rainy season and an annual consumption of 76 kilograms per person. Sierra Leone also has a huge potential export of coffee and cocoa productions. Most Sierra Leoneans live in small scattered farms, following a scheme of bush fallow rotation, slush and burn field preparation, and limited use of fertilizer. Rice grown by 80% of farmers is the most important subsistence crop and along with millet in the northeast is a food staple. The Rich Research Institute located in the northern province breeds high-yielding varieties for seed, which has greatly improved on output and quality of output. Other domestic food crops include cassava, yams, peanuts, corn, pineapples, coconuts, tomatoes, pepper, bananas, pineapples, and sugarcane. Financial Support of the IMF The IMF has been a strong ground on which Sierra Leone has been standing on and still is. IMF Executive Board completes second review of Sierra Leone's extended credit facility. IMF approved the disbursement of $21.13 million to Sierra Leone. This disbursement underscores the fund's ongoing commitment to help the country tackle any potential economic fallout from the COVID-19 pandemic. With a financial backing like the International Monetary Fund, Sierra Leone keeps its head above water at every fall. 
The weaknesses of Sierra Leone. Vulnerable to weather conditions. Sierra Leone is one of the poorest countries in the world and faces multiple risks from climate change that threaten key economic sectors and increase the potential of wider environmental degradation. High dependence on agriculture and natural resources coupled with high rates of poverty, unemployment and environmental degradation leave Sierra Leone vulnerable to climate change impacts. Climate projections in Sierra Leone include increases in temperature, more extreme weather, including more intense precipitation and raising sea levels. Heavy rainfall following dry spells often results in extensive flooding throughout the country. This affects the agricultural sector which most of the country's revenue are dependent on. Inadequate infrastructure Sierra Leone is a rich country as its countryside contains high deposits of mineral resources, vastly available agricultural land, untapped timber resources, and many tourist sites. Getting to these natural assets and tourist sites is another story. But unfortunately, Sierra Leone has underdeveloped and inadequate methods for storing and exporting already scarce food. Handling techniques in general are poor as storage facilities are inadequate and the transportation from farm to storage facilities and market is disastrous. Fixing the missing link of transport infrastructure will enable Sierra Leone's rural regions to be connected without potholes or broken bridges to reach its economic potential. Roads are often non-existent or in poor condition. Potholes and cracks in the roads are a common sight, that is if the roads are even paved in the first place. More often, dirty roads are the common feature of the rural transportation network. Paved roads greatly ease the transportation of people, crops and other products. Failing health system Medical care is not readily accessible, with doctors and hospitals out of reach for many villages. While free health care may be provided in some villages, the medical staff is poorly paid and sometimes charged for their services taking advantage of the fact that the villagers are not aware of the right to free medical care. A dialysis machine, the first of its kind in the country, was donated by Israel. According to an Overseas Development Institute report, private health expenditure accounts for 85.7% of total spending on health. With a poor infrastructural system, it's no wonder the medical system is also in bad shape. But as we all know, unhealthy citizens equals an unhealthy economy. Extreme poverty and high unemployment. Sierra Leone remains among the world's poorest countries, ranking 181st out of 189 countries in the Human Development Index in 2018. Decades of economic decline and 11 years of affirmed conflict had dramatic consequences on the country. Poverty remains widespread with more than 60% of the population living on less than $1.25 a day. Unemployment and illiteracy levels remain high, particularly among youth. However, Sierra Leone has made a considerable progress since the end of the Civil War in 2002, consolidating peace, democracy, and improving development indicators and rising rates of economic growth. Corruption, high dependence on agriculture, and inadequate protection of property rights. Corruption and economic mismanagement, lack of opportunities for the youth, and the underdevelopment of the rural areas were identified in the post-war truth commission process as underlying causes of the conflicts that devastated Sierra Leone between 1991 and 2002. Donor support to Leone since 2002 has enabled combatants to be disarmed and reintegrated into society. Many of those internally displaced by the war to return home and the elements of a democratic state to be put in place. But economic performance remains inadequate to move Sierra Leone up from near the bottom rank of the Human Development Index. Many young men have turned away from agriculture toward mining, where they appear to find higher incomes with exploitative working conditions. Further, national and local governance are still believed by many to be prone to the same kinds of corruption and mismanagement that characterize Sierra Leone. New approaches seem to be needed to establish property rights in ways that would encourage investment and rising productivity, especially in agriculture, and give landholders and local communities a stake in Sierra Leone's economic future, and to provide transparent and accountable governance of the country's considerable natural resources. Hard for small and medium-sized enterprises to access credit. Sierra Leone's financial system is characterized by extremely low levels of credit penetration. Credit to the private sector is merely 5% of GDP, marginally lower than Sub-Saharan Africa's regional average of 30%. The small and medium enterprise sector in particular is virtually neglected by commercial banks. 
This problem has been a huge hindrance for the growth of the private sector, which should be the backbone of any emerging economy. Conclusion No matter the continent in the world, every country has its weaknesses as well as its strengths. Known as a perfect nation, and each and every nation just strives to minimize the weaknesses in order to be a better nation for its citizens. No matter what anyone says, any country strives to protect its citizens before any other country as a neighbor. Hence, what is seen as weak by outsiders might rather be serving the citizens well, and so we can never be 100% completely sure when it comes to internal affairs of a country. There you have it, Desplorers. Those were the strengths and weaknesses of Sierra Leone. Thanks for watching this video. If you want us to cover any particular country, leave your suggestions in the comments and we will do what to grant your request. Also, if you did enjoy the video, do what to give the thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends.